Hey, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to talk to you about how to start a plant-based diet. Now, what is a plant-based diet? I think it's pretty obvious that it doesn't have any meat, fish, dairy, or eggs, as all of them are derived from animals and contain cholesterol, which are only made by animals. So what is a plant-based diet made of? Well, if you guessed plant, you're partially right. The different food groups are fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, nuts, and seeds. Now, plant-based diet may also include mushrooms, which are technically a fungus and not a plant, as well as algae, which are technically protists. Now, some choose to include honey in their diet, which is mostly made up of sugar, water, bee secretions, and some micronutrients. But vegans, however, do not include honey in their diet because it's technically not 100% plant-based and it's not considered ethical. So all vegans are technically considered to eat a 100% plant-based diet. But if you eat a plant-based diet, you are not necessarily considered to be vegan. And that is an important note to make. Being vegan is a way of life as vegans choose not to include things like leather, wool, silk, down, or anything else that is derived from an animal or tested on animals. But a plant-based diet is, well, simply just a diet. It does not specify anything else about your lifestyle or set any rules as how strict you need to be about your diet. But generally, most people adopt a plant-based diet for health reasons, and many big organizations such as Kaiser Permanente and the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics have come out and stated that a plant-based diet is healthy and appropriate for all stages of life. It can help prevent and manage chronic conditions such as obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and some forms of cancer, to name a few. So if you're still with me after that very long monologue, my first tip is understanding why you want to adopt this diet. Because having a strong foundation based on education and reason is what's going to help you stick to this long term. If you want to learn more about a plant-based diet, I suggest you watch the documentary called Forks Over Knives. It's available on Netflix and that's actually what started my journey back in 2012 when I first adopted this diet as well as my vegan lifestyle and I can't recommend this documentary enough. And I'll also include some more resources in the description of this video so you guys can go and check those out. But I do want to say that there is no one plant-based diet per se. There are many variations of it such as high carb, keto, raw, and YOLO which includes any junk food that is vegan. However, the diet that I recommend is a whole food plant-based diet which is the same diet that many of these organizations recommend for preventing and managing chronic diseases. But if you're just starting out, I recommend adding more plant-based foods to your diet rather than taking away animal products first. This will allow your body to adapt to these new foods that you're not used to or used to eating as much of because plant-based foods have way more fiber and way more water than animal products. So if you go cold tofurkey, dive 100% into this, you might feel some discomfort, some bloating. So take your time, transition into it, try a bunch of different foods that you haven't tried before. And as you're eliminating animal products, eliminate the ones that you eat the least first. In other words, if you love bacon, hold off on eliminating bacon until the very end. The other thing is plant-based foods are less calorically dense. This is a very important concept to understand because when you transition to a plant-based diet, plant-based foods have less calories per weight when compared to animal products. In other words, that means you have to eat way more on this diet. And I think that's where a lot of people fail is because they continually under eat, which means that they are under eating also in the nutrients that they need and they won't get enough energy from their food to feel good and do the things that they wanna do. So if you wanna sustain this diet long-term, the best approach to take is when you look at your plate, you want half of it to be starches like potatoes, rice, or pasta. A quarter of your plate to be foods rich in protein such as beans, peas, lentils, tofu, seitan, tempeh. And the last quarter of your plate to be non-starchy vegetables such as spinach, broccoli, carrots, etc. This is a great place to start and you could always tweak it and personalize it however you like to better suit your needs. You can also try out some of the plant-based alternatives while you're transitioning and honestly there's some really great products out on the market that are going to taste really familiar such as Beyond Meat and Impossible Burger and these can be great for holidays or when you want something that tastes familiar but long term you want to limit these types of foods because 
they are very calorically dense, unlike whole plant-based foods, because they're highly processed. And if you rely too heavily upon them, they may interfere with some of the health benefits that you would have gotten from a whole food plant-based diet. But if you can limit them and eat them once in a while, then don't be afraid to explore what's out there and find what you like. Now, one of the biggest challenges that you may face while trying to eat a plant-based diet is when you go out and eat at restaurants. Now, fortunately, many restaurants these days offer plant-based options, but just be mindful of that in case you have to get creative when you get there. My advice is to use Happy Cow to find vegan, vegetarian, restaurants that offer plant-based options and that way you can also see what other people are saying about these restaurants and what plant-based foods they ate while they were there and i'm not sponsored by happy cow just to put it out there but i am a big fan of their website and i use it a lot when i'm traveling and looking for some vegan food the other thing that you could do though is you could go to the restaurant's website beforehand and typically on there, they will list all the ingredients or they will even list if it is vegan, vegetarian, or plant-based. I know that this might sound like a lot and just take a deep breath and realize that this would be no different if you had to change your diet due to allergy or religious purposes. And fortunately for you, a plant-based diet is very healthy. Like I said, I've been vegan and have been eating a whole food plant-based diet since 2012 and have never felt better and had more energy since I made the switch. And one of the ways that I've been able to sustain this diet for so long has been just by keeping things simple. I have a handful of recipes that I like to cycle through and will vary them up depending on how my day looks and how my schedule looks. But Keeping things simple and not overcomplicating things is what has helped me keep this long term. I also take a vitamin B12 supplement, which is the only supplement that I would really recommend to anyone who is looking to adopt a 100% plant-based diet. But I would recommend that you get your blood work done at least once a year just to make sure that everything is going well. And when in doubt, talk to a dietitian or a healthcare professional that actually knows what they are talking about and they can help guide you through plant-based diet and get you on the right track. And look, this is important. If, if you fall off the wagon per se, don't sweat it. Just get back up and keep moving forward. I think a lot of people get caught up in that perfectionist mentality and they label themselves as a failure and will swing back to the other side. A strong foundation of education and reason is what's gonna help you keep at this long term. So if a plant-based diet or vegan lifestyle is important to you, find professionals that can help guide you through it. Hope you guys got something out of this video. Hit the like button and subscribe for more videos on plant-based nutrition. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.